What's your own toxic trait? Do I have to pick one? Quick to judgment. I don't remember things that don't benefit me. I have a bad habit of not trusting other people to do things right. This is a tough one because it feels very validating when you do catch someone effing up that you were prepared for because of your suspicion, but you have to weigh the cost of suspecting everyone to both your relationships and your mental health against the advantage that you get from suspecting people and removing that vulnerability. It's a legitimate decision to make, I also do this. I'm very irritable and that really pisses me off. Edit. Thanks everyone for showing concern. I am generally right is rain. I was mostly being facetious. Mostly. I feel this one hard. The worst part is that as I get older, I realize that's it really to do with the other person, situation but just my own anxieties playing out in unhealthy ways slightly frowning face. I hold grudges and I can be quite petty sometimes. My girlfriend and I laugh about how petty and competitive we are. But I laugh much more. I'm really bad at keeping up with people I'm genuinely interested in getting to know, and when on occasion I succeed, I can't help but feel I'm being creepy. This one gets me. I want friends, but I feel creepy and overbearing when I follow up and text after a few weeks. I can just imagine then looking at their phone and thinking, how can I let this conversation die quickly so I don't hurt her feelings, and also don't have to talk to her. I can't help but feel this is a symptom of social media. Our interactions are all over medias, and personal interactions outside those platforms feels invasive. My toxic trait is thinking that my self-awareness of my toxic traits cancels them out. Too loud. I'm terribly sorry. I'll be quieter next time. I'm always very angry. I don't even know why like 99% of the time. I meditate, I exercise very frequently, I go for walks, try to keep a peace of mind but even on my best days where I feel fantastic there's always some sort of fire that just burns inside me. Makes me, bitchy, or, snappy, at its most tame. Genuinely don't even know what to do about it anymore. It I struggle with constant anger too. I found a method that helps a lot. Not sure what it's called. But I remember it as a rabbit hole approach. Anger, fear, grief, and care. When you're angry, take a minute and go through these four stages in order. I'll take you through an example of mine. 1. Anger. First, why am I angry? My therapist implied I like feeling superior to others. 2. Fear. What fear does that bring up? Fear of being perceived as bitchy, arrogant, unlikable by others. 3. Grieve. What are you grieving that made you feel that way? I used to behave this way when I was younger, and my family didn't stick up for me or help me through the these feelings. I didn't know how to stand up for myself and put a wall up. I felt alone then and am feeling alone now. 4. Care. How can you care for yourself through this grief? I can say to myself, you didn't deserve that. You deserved someone there to guide you and help you. Life is complicated and you're not a bitchy person. You can work on this and it doesn't make you a bad person. Hope this helps. It's been life-changing for me. Thank you for this. I've always looked at anger and fear as that's what I was recommend but never thought about grieve and care. There's are some excellent tips THSTI will try and focus on next. Perhaps at worst they can lighten the frustration. Thank you. Overbearing and I need attention. I jump to conclusions. I am self-aware and have made great efforts to combat these propensities. I never ask for help because I think I can do everything myself, and I insist that I can do it even though I can't. I ignore things that cause me too much stress, until they become urgent and serious. Ah yes my old go-to of nurturing minor problems into major ones. I either overvalue my role I other people's lives, or I self-isolate and want nothing to do with anyone. Edit. There's no shame in the medicine game if you feel like it's out of control. Procrastinator. What do procrastination and masturbation have in common? In the end, you're only effing yourself. Trying to empathize with others but accidentally oversharing and cringing about it for the next five to seven years. Edit. Funnily enough, hearing everyone's stories about how they've done this has made me feel a lot better about doing this myself smiley face. I hope to run into you in social situations so we can overshare at each other. Overthink. Self-hatred. I interrupt people if I feel like I know what they're going to say. 
It's effing annoying. Edit, wow. Just got off work and came back to this massive response. Thank you all for the awards. You guys honestly made this memorable enough that it will most likely stay with me in conversations and possibly help me to stop doing this. I do this. What the hell? No one lives up to my expectations of what I think friendship should be. Everyone always disappoints me. I'm aloof. Like I value my relationships with people and try to be there when they need me, but otherwise I just occupy my own space and do my own thing. Like I'm not part of any Twitch, Discord, etc. communities because I find I get bored with keeping up with them. It generally means that in the few instances where I feel lonely, I know I've done it to myself. But I can't change who I am without serious effort and I like my life, so I am who I am. Some folks questioning how being too aloof can be toxic. It's hard to put into words, but I have actively aloofed myself right out of relationships, friendships, and positions of responsibility. Like not responding to a text, DM for a week and then forgetting about it. Or modding a community and just not logging in anymore because I want to play a game or something instead. But at this point I accept that aspect of myself so I don't tend to take up any positions that require a ton of commitment. Like I don't raid in WoW anymore because I didn't want to commit to logging in two nights a week, etc. So I've probably aloofed myself right out of a lot of potential friendships, relationships, opportunities, etc. But at the same time, IDK. I don't like being tied down. I want to do what I want when I want, and for the most part one can, so I'm satisfied, even if it's not as healthy law. Edit. I'm glad I'm not alone in being this way. I'd say we should all get together and make an aloof synonymous community group but we all know we'd be like super into it for a week and then get bored and do something else, LMAO. No will force to do poo. Can't lose weight, can't take better care of myself. Can't study properly. Can't keep pushing anything for more than a week. It sucks. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.